Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add your email address into your Mac mail app. Uh, before you start, uh, you have to know um, your email address and the settings beforehand. So it's not going to create email, but you need to have existing email already. So uh, typically, if it's like a Gmail on the Yahoo, you don't need to have complicated settings. But if you use your own server and uh, you have own uh, email settings, you need to um, get these from the, your hosting server. Uh, typically, it's uh, your email ad address, obviously, and your password. And also, you need um, incoming server address and also the port uh, number. And also, outgoing uh, mail server address and the port number as well. Uh, usually, in incoming server and the outgoing server address is the same, but uh, not always. So, uh, keep in mind, you get those information from um, your hosting server first. Then, let's get uh, started. First, um, click this mail app. By the way, we are running on uh, Catalina. So, uh, right now, my mail doesn't have any email setups so we need to add uh, go to mail and add account then it's gonna ask you how what kind of uh, email you can add obviously if it's uh, uh, gmail and yahoo uh, it's easy just you and uh, choose one of all those and uh, put your email and a password and then get it done but in this time uh, we're gonna use your custom email address so we choose other uh, mail account and continue. Then we're going to start with your email address. And password. Let me check that out. Just a quick. Uh, what's that? Okay. And sign in. Um, sometimes uh, it's gonna take a while to pop up this window because uh, your system automatically trying to connect um, your server with your email and the password only. But most likely not. But if you get connected, you're lucky, so you don't have to worry about it. But otherwise, um, you're gonna be directed to this new uh, pop up window. Then. A username is typically it's uh, same as your email address, but you have to check with um, your hosting server. So make sure you know the right information. Then uh, next you choose account type. So IMAP and POP, is, they're different. IMAP is designed to um, basically access your mailbox on the server from multiple devices. So that means um, if you have so, such uh, smartphone and your PC and let's say iPad or tablet. Um, if you want to access to the same email uh, from multiple device and the, from the latest um, email and also save draft on the server, this is the best option. So POP is the other hand. Basically POP is designed to download all your email into your computer or your device at a time. So. Um, it's great if you want to read and uh, email on your local device without internet. Uh, but nowadays, you can do uh, even if uh, you choose IMAP. So uh, most of the case, IMAP is better option uh, since nowadays we all use computers and smartphones and tablets at the same time, right? So um, most of the case, just you choose IMAP. Then incoming mail server, we can add uh, we're gonna enter actual mail server address. I think this one settings is okay. Again, this is different on each of you, so you have to check your settings uh, with your hosting server and hit sign in. And it's gonna try to verify that if there's no problem, you're gonna see this window right here. Um, then you can choose what kind of services you wanna use this account on your Mac. 
uh, mail and notes are clicked right now. Uh, notes is kind of tricky because you can s write a notes on your Mac and the, by using your mail server, you can uh, synchronize the notes with multiple devices. Um, you can do that, but it's get a little bit confusing. So uh, most of the time I recommend uncheck the notes unless what you're doing, unless you know what you're doing. So simply click only the mail and get it done. So when you successfully uh, connect your email, so you're gonna load all kind of email into your mail app. Now you're successfully connected um, the setup, your mail app with your uh, mail server. So uh, if you have any problem, please contact your hosting server uh, support, uh, customer support. So they're gonna assist you how to fix the problem. So otherwise, that's it. So thank you for watching this video and I'm gonna see you next time.